Are you looking for a fun and easy way to organize your photos so that you can find them quickly? If so, you're in the right place. Hi, I'm Lynn Brow, an ambassador with Forever.com. You may have heard of Forever as a safe place to store your photos. Forever has cloud storage that is extremely safe and does not get data mined. Any photos that you upload to our cloud are safe and owned by you, not the company. Once your storage is paid for, it's yours forever. There's no monthly service fee. Also available at forever.com is media conversion. Send in your photos, slides, videos, etc. Once digitized, these will be either put in the cloud or sent to you on a flash drive. Forever also has an online print shop that's great if you want to do a quick photo project that has great quality when you receive it in the mail. If you're interested in any of these, I would be glad to talk to you some more about it. But did you know that Forever also has two programs that you can use on your PC, laptop, or desktop, and you use them off of the internet? These two programs are Historian, which we use to edit and organize your photos, and Artisan, which is used to create photo projects, including photo books. Today, I'd like to share with you a little about the Historian program. Here are some of the features that I really like about Historian. You can save as many photos in the program as you, your computer or external hard drive can hold. You can organize in whatever way works best for you. You can find your moments in a snap. This program has great editing, and the editing includes a great way to restore old photos. You can set up an automatic shadow copy and never have to save a backup manually. You can share photos directly from Historian to your family, friends, even Facebook or other social media. Download the free 30-day trial, which includes all of the features of the program, and try it out for yourself. But now that I've whet your appetite, I'd like to show you the program itself. This is the welcome page. When you open up your vault, you'll notice that there in this center section will pop up all of my photos. This is the main media library. The photos in this area are sequential by date, meaning the first one is the earliest picture taken, the last one is the latest picture taken. That's the way I have it organized. You can organize it differently if you choose. Down here on the bottom, though, you can see the different bar graphs. This will show you, if you want to just click on 2013, it'll show you just the pictures from that year. This is an easy way to find your pictures. But you can also search by a specific date or a month or a year, or even the days that you imported the pictures into this program. It's very easy to find photos. Over here, you'll see that there are many folders that you can set up. You can set up whichever works for you. The most important thing to know is that even if you put one photo in five different folders, it's only stored one place, so it does not take as much space. So you can set it up however you do. I have different travel categories. I have different friends, family, activities, holidays, whatever works for you and whatever way will make it easier for you to find that photo is the way you need to set it up. Up here in the top, you can see where it shows how we can bring in media. You can bring it in from forever. If you have storage in the cloud, that's how you get it from there to here. The other thing to tell you about that is that you can sign up for a free app with forever and you can get a free two gigabytes of storage and then you can try it out for yourself. If you want to do that, let me know. I'll be glad to help you. You can bring pictures in from your camera or your phone, a scanner, files, which might be an SD card or a, or a thumb drive or a CD, whatever. This searches your computer for every JPEG you have on there. One of the features that I think helps us most to find our photos is this facial recognition. So you want to do that when you bring them in. Ratings are a gr great way to organize and sort your photos. I use this especially if I'm organizing photos for a book 
I might go through and give all of the pictures fives that I feel like would be good for that book. You can use the rating however it works best for you. This you can just sort and look at only the images or only the um, videos that I have in here. This I can tell it these are the things I need to print. These are the things I don't want to print. Um, this is just a way to search things on your computer or in this program. So you click on here and you might put a name or an event or a place. Um, but that's the way to search here. And this is also for searching dates. So you can see it's an easy program over here. If you click on a photo, it will give you the item properties. And it should show you the date that it was taken. This one, it, these are just sample photos. So I've put them in as 1900, but you can change the dates. You can change the names. This shows you what tags they're in or what folders they're in. This is where you would do your rating. This is where you would write whatever you want to write about that that picture. So anyway, that kind of gives you a little idea. There's a backup memory vault, as I mentioned before. You set it up as a shadow copy, and that is an awesome way to make sure every time you close the program, you have a backup made. So I would be glad to help you in any way if this is something that would be interesting to you. I also have activities where I live twice a month. I have folks come to my house and work on their photos. They just bring their laptops twice a month in Poolsville, Maryland, and I do the same thing twice a month in Ashburn, Virginia. I also do two scrapbooking retreats a, a year. I have some folks who come and do traditional scrapbooking, and then some of us do digital. We do those in March and November. I would be glad to help you in any way that I can. Here's my email address and um, my ambassador link or login. If you want to go there, I'll be glad to help you. Please let me know if I can help you with your photos. I would love to show this program to you and help you in any other way. Remember, there's a free 30-day trial that you can get when you go to this website, forever.com slash ambassador slash Lynn Brow. Type in historian or just look at all of the events and, and or all of the items and scroll down until you see historian. Download that free historian and start trying it today. Thanks. Have a great day.